So big protests today also at the Spokane County Courthouse. Hundreds of people demanding to go back to work. Uh, that's freedom. If that's freedom, I want no part of Matt Shea's freedom. A lot of different perspectives out there today. All of them, though, saying their decisions are what's best for the state of Washington. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Whitney Ward. Mark is off tonight. Of course, these protests today didn't come out of nowhere. We know that they were organized. They were planned. And one of the leader lead organizational components of this is controversial, controversial Spokane Valley representative Matt Shea. He's had a long time conflict conflict with the sheriff of Spokane County, Ozzie Knezovich, who was also at the courthouse today. So that is where we begin. We begin with Casey Decker, who is live now with more on how that conflict between the two main players played out today. Well, yeah, as you mentioned, Whitney, the center of this debate is really its two leaders heading up the protest movement. You have Matt Shea and then you got Sheriff Knezovich on the other side heading up something of a rebuttal. Shea's coalition ranges from the more traditional libertarians who simply view these restrictions as government overreach to the more conspiratorial anti-vaxxers and the like who argue without any evidence that public health experts are lying to us about COVID-19. To them and everyone in between, Shea has argued that protests like the one today are the way to convince the government to lift restrictions. We need to reclaim, we need to reclaim our job as Christians to not just preach the gospel, but also to make disciples, which means sometimes we got to stand out here and tell, tell the government and the leaders that are unconstitutionally infringing on us, no, you can't do that anymore. On the other side of that debate, we've got Knezovich alongside many other local leaders. And to be clear, these folks are not totally in step in the with the governor, not even close, really. They've been critical of many of his decisions. But they argue the way forward is conversations with the governor and his team, not mass protests that spread anger and potentially coronavirus. They've been pushing instead to work with the state for a phased but faster reopening in eastern Washington. What the governor announced today is draconian. I mean beyond draconian. It's not it's not reasonable. I don't see any solution from what Matt just said. A lot of anger, a lot of passion. Amen for the passion. But where's the real solution in his message? Now one other important thing to note, despite the amount of tension between those groups, the protest remained peaceful. There was no violence and no arrest. And in fact, after all the speakers were done, a number of people kind of congregated near where the sheriff was, and a lot of them engaged in pretty respectful conversation. Reporting live from the Spokane County Courthouse, Casey Decker, Crep 2 News.